Hi everyone! Today, I'll be talking about a few essential upgrades and modifications I've made to my Bamboo Lab, a one-combo 3D printer. Like many 3D printers, the A1 combo has room for improvement to enhance user experience, productivity, and overall performance. Some of these upgrades come from the community in the form of 3D printed accessories, while others can be purchased from platforms like AliExpress, which offer new functionalities. Let's start with one of the most basic yet crucial upgrades, the print surface. I've replaced the default PHEHI surface with a build plate that has a triangle pattern on one side and a carbon fiber texture on the other. This upgrade provides better adhesion for different types of filament, ensuring smoother prints and easier removal of completed parts. Next is the dust filter for the cooling fan located on the left side of the hot end. This little addition helps keep dust and debris from entering the fan and potentially causing issues over time. It's a simple yet effective upgrade that helps maintain the printer's longevity and performance. Moving on, one of the most important components during the printer's cleaning sequence is the brush located at the top left of the print bed. Its purpose is to clean off any leftover filament from previous prints, ensuring the nozzle remains clean and ready for the next job. You've probably noticed that the printer rubs against this brush quite firmly, which helps remove debris but also causes the brush to wear out over time. To address this, I've purchased a few spare brushes, so I can easily replace them when they start to wear down. Since I asked the printer in a small space, I've also printed and installed a storage hook on the ceiling to store some of the detachable parts when they're not in use. It saves a lot of space and keeps my workstation organized. Another useful modification I made is a cable support piece that prevents the Hotens cable from dragging across the print surface. This simple part helps avoid potential damage to the cable and ensures smoother movement during prints. One of the best features of the Bamboo Lab A1 Combo is its hot swap nozzle system. I have a set of 0.2 mm 0.4 mm and 0.6 mm nozzles. For detailed prints, I use the 0.2 mm nozzle, and for high speed printing, I switch to the 0.6 mm nozzle. The ability to quickly change nozzles without much hassle adds incredible versatility to the printer. Now, to improve visibility in the print area, I've added an LHEHD light that mounts under the Y axis arm. This light is positioned just a few millimeters below the hot end, providing excellent illumination. It's controlled with a simple on off button, but the best part is that it uses the same connector as the AHNHS light unit, so no extra wiring is needed. Speaking of the AMS light unit, I've also added a vertical mounting bracket to save space in my already tight workspace. This small change allowed me to fit the unit inside my cabinet without sacrificing any functionality. Additionally, to protect the AMS light tubing and connectors from damage due to pressure or bending, I've installed a custom design support piece. Finally, I printed a storage box with specific slots for storing small accessories like screws and Allen wrenches. However, I did run into an issue with the print. The slot for the two red Allen wrenches was a bit too small, so I'll need to make some adjustments for a better fit next time. To sum up, these modifications have significantly improved my workflow and made the printer more efficient and user-friendly. Each upgrade brings something valuable to the table, whether it's better print quality, increased durability, or simply making life easier when using the printer. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more 3D printing tips, reviews, and upgrades. Also, feel free to drop any questions or thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what upgrades or modifications you've made to your own printer. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.